Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, it is February the 1st, 2022, the start to a brand new month. And I thought we'd start off by talking about some of our upcoming cruises, some of the changes we've seen, good and bad. All right, so we have Adventure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas here in 13 more days. We'll be heading down to Galveston to get on board there for that cruise. And originally we had booked an excursion or not an excursion, I guess a ship activity. We we're going to do the behind the scenes tour, get to see the crew areas, the mess areas, the bridge. Well, unfortunately that excursion has been canceled. They said due to COVID, health and safety protocols, and the ability to you know keep proper distancing they have decided to cancel that particular option. You know, and I, and I see it disappointing. It's something I really wanted to do. I'd never done before, um, but I understand. They probably don't want passengers in the crew areas and where there's, you know, a possibility of a increase in risk of catching COVID, something like that. So for whatever the case may be, that unfortunately has been canceled. That's the bad news. Now, the good news though is, I don't know, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I forget exactly how long ago, we got the email from Royal Caribbean to do the Royal Up program. Initially, we had booked a guaranteed inside stateroom, you know, just to get on the ship, cheapest cabin we pretty much could get. They sent us the email to Royal Up, and for fun, we went ahead and put in some bids. And look, I lowballed these bids. I'm going to tell you right now, I did not put any high numbers in here. I kind of lowballed them just for fun, just to participate. Didn't think anything of it until today we got the email and our Royal Up bid was accepted. So we have been moved from an inside stateroom to a spacious ocean view stateroom. So, hey, excellent news there. Now, once we get off of the Adventure of the Seas, we then have the Carnival Vista for the 50th Celebration Cruise right there at the beginning of March on March the 5th. And on that one, also, we had booked an inside stateroom, guaranteed inside stateroom. Well, lo and behold, we got upgraded on that one as well. Got the upgrade offer from Carnival Cruise Lines. It was a good deal. And now we're in a balcony cabin for the Carnival Vista. So I guess this is our month for upgrades. So while bummed about the excursion, super pumped up for our new cabin categories. Hey, and it'll be something new to show everybody at home. But let's get into what we're actually here for, and that is for the cruise news. All right, so we have some new cruise ship information coming out this week. Princess Cruise Lines has officially taken possession of the last in the Royal Class cruise ships, the Discovery Princess. And we're also looking forward to this cruise ship because we are actually booked on the Discovery Princess. Now, we're not booked until May of 2023 for our Alaska cruise, but... Still, I mean, we're looking forward to the Discovery Princess. She's not going to be but what, a year old by the time we get on her. That's still a fairly new cruise ship. We have not sailed on Princess Cruise Lines before. So really looking forward to exploring the Discovery Princess next year. But like I said, Princess Cruise Lines has officially taken possession. And now Princess begins their next class of cruise ship, which they are going to call the Sphere Class. Don't know a whole lot about it other than it is supposed to be larger than the Discovery Princess or than the Royal class. So it's going to be Princess Cruise Line's largest cruise ship class to date. And we should see that hopefully here in 2023 as well. Plus Royal Caribbean has their new class of cruise ship coming out, the Icon class. We have several new classes of cruise ship coming out. The Disney's new Trident class, the Disney Wish is fixing to come out. So new cruise ships are exciting. But even new classes of cruise ships can sometimes be even more exciting because, you know, what new things did they put on board? What new innovations have they come up with for these new cruise ships? So really looking forward to seeing all of these new classes of cruise ships coming out. Now, the Celebrity Beyond, who of course is now captained by Captain Kate, well, Celebrity Beyond starts sea trials today. So one step closer for the Celebrity Beyond joining the Celebrity family. And the Queen Mary, well, it looks like she is going to finally get some much-needed repairs, some much-needed love, and finally be able to reopen this year. So, 
I'm sure everybody knows the Queen Mary, which used to be a Canard Cruise Line cruise ship, was turned into a hotel and is permanently docked in Long Beach, California. Well, it closed in 2020. The previous owners that had at least bankruptcies, all kinds of things like that, the hotel closed in 2020 and the Queen Mary has gone into some disrepair. Okay, She is in great need of a little bit of love. And the city of Long Beach, well, you know, they were kind of deciding as to what they were going to do with the Queen Mary. Is it worth it to do the repairs? Is it cost effective? And they even considered scrapping her, you know, doing away with her altogether. Well, it turns out that it actually would be more expensive to scrap the Queen Mary than it would be to repair. So for anybody that's ever stayed there or wants to stay at the Queen Mary, hope is again on the horizon. So the city of Long Beach has allocated $5 million dollars for some necessary critical repairs, and these repairs should start here in February. She needs new bilge pumps. She needs some other safety items. They need to take down some of the lifeboats, which are degrading and cracking some of the structure pieces. And she needs about $100 million worth of work, but $5 million will at least get her secured, will at least keep her from taking on water, at least keep her from falling apart right now, and they say the hotel should be back open and operational here at, towards the end of this year. So great news for the Queen Mary. A lot of history there. And it's really good to see that they are going to take the steps necessary to preserve that particular ship. And more bad news for Crystal Cruise Lines. So the Crystal Serenity, which was on a world cruise, was scheduled to end the cruise in Aruba this past Sunday on January the 30th. However, when they got to Aruba, the cruise ship was turned away. Now, apparently there was no issues of COVID on the ship, nothing like that, that would have prevented the cruise ship from docking, but they were still turned away and told that they could not dock there and they could not disembark the passengers. So instead, the cruise ship, of course, has had to head back up to the Bahamas, where they did disembark their passengers yesterday and then had to ferry them again over to the mainland. So the question's really going to be is what's going to happen next with Crystal Cruises? Are they going to survive this bankruptcy? There's always a chance that a private investor can pick them up, supply them the cash, and the money they need to get out of debt and resume cruising that maybe one of the big boys will pick up. Maybe, you know, Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, one of those possibly will pick up Crystal Cruises and get them back to cruising. Of course, only time is going to tell. And one final cruise news story for y'all today. You know, cruise ships, they make the news all of the time. Recently, it's been, you know, COVID. It's been Petri dish. It's been passengers stranded at sea. We've all seen those news stories. But how about this one? Have you ever seen a news story where a cruise ship has scrubbed a rocket launch? Because that's a new one on me. So SpaceX was getting ready to launch their Falcon 9 rocket. They had an Italian satellite on board that they were going to take up into orbit. And this particular rocket had been scrubbed a couple of times already. I want to say it was up to four times the mission had already been, or three times the mission had already been scrubbed. Weather conditions, other situations. They were scheduled to launch again. Had everything ready to go. Weather was good. And turned out there was a cruise ship in the hazard zone and they had to scrub the launch again. So my understanding of how this works is there's a section of the ocean there from Cape Canaveral okay, that's considered the hazard zone, and that's in case the rocket goes up, something happens to it, it explodes, pieces of it fall off, whatever. That is the area that they expect the rocket to come back and impact into the ocean, and there's not supposed to be any ships in there when that happens. However, when they got ready to launch, Harmony of the Seas from Royal Caribbean apparently was in the hazard zone. Coast Guard immediately notified SpaceX and said, hey, you gotta scrub your launch. You have a cruise ship in the hazard zone. Now, to me, this sounds like a complete and utter miscommunication somewhere in this pipeline. Because cruise ships depart at certain times. They depart on schedules. They have very specific routes they take out of the cruise ports before they get underway to whatever itinerary that they are sailing. So I doubt Harmony of the Seas was really off course, but they didn't say for sure. They didn't say if the cruise line wasn't notified or someone missed the notification or whatever the case may be. In the end, though, the launch was scrubbed. 
due to cruise ship in the way. So how's that for a news story? One I personally had never heard before. All right, and that is going to be our cruise news for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button for me. Have yourself a great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.